Artists will go through a lot to promote their albums, from dropping free mixtapes to appearing all over late night television. But Nick Cannon chose to take a different route to promote his new album. Yep, let that image sink in. He even introduced the new alter ego on Instagram. Connor Small, that's the name, bro. Someone's signing this guy. Now, as you might imagine, Cannon has received a lot of criticism for the white face. Not surprising when you recall the countless times people dressed in blackface have stirred up trouble. You would think celebrities would know better, but people have moments uh, where, where they weren't thinking. Julianne Huff, Ted Danson, Howard Stern impersonating Ted Danson, Billy Crystal. In all of these situations, the celebrities receive significant pushback for their portrayals. But some would argue the criticism doesn't land as sharply on black celebrities. Let's get this out of the way. If a black entertainer depicts a white person in white face, that's okay. That's funny. Prime example, the movie White Chicks, where Marlon and Sean Wayans dress up as white girls for the majority of the film. Also, this Saturday Night Live skit back in the 80s with Eddie Murphy. So, what's the difference? Well, some argue history. There is no historical event attached to whiteface. Blackface, on the other hand, certainly does have a painful past to go along with the practice. And in his own defense, Nick Cannon points to intent. Man, I'm racist, and so are you. We all racist. Prejudice is prejudging. We all do it. Like, as long as there's no hatred in it, that's not avoid the truth. We're different. He posted this picture to Instagram hours after debuting his costume with the caption, there's a big difference between humor and hatred. Agree or disagree, at least Cannon's message is consistent. His soon-to-be-released album is titled White People Party Music. For Newsy, I'm Jamal Andrews.